Hey everybody, welcome back to Whistle Thicket. So we are going to be planting some fruit trees and some fruit bushes today. Um, I got these local plants from um, a place called Plants for Everyone in Asheville. They have a sale once a year and I got a lot of bare root fruit trees and some blueberry bushes. Um, I'm not going to be planting the blueberry bushes in this video. I'm going to be planting the fruit trees and hopefully I get to the blueberry bushes later today as well. Um, so let's just see what I have though real quick. So I have the O'Neill, um, which is a blueberry bush. We have a powder blue um, bush, it's a blueberry. Um, Amy wanted a southern, a southern magnolia tree, so uh, I'm gonna find a place to plant this. What else do we got? We have a Brightwell, which is a blueberry. Um, we have a Celeste Fig. We have another blueberry, an Austin Blueberry. We have a Brown Turkey Fig. And what I'm planting right now hopefully today i have a dwarf red chief nectarine i'm going to go ahead and put that in this bucket of water and i have a plum tree also a dwarf a burbank i'm going to put that in water since i'm going to be planting it in a couple hours and i have a nectarine dwarf again another red chief so I guess your first step on how to plant a bare root fruit tree is go buy your fruit trees. The best time to plant them is um, early winter, or sorry, late winter to early spring, I guess kind of maybe February to March-ish. And that does vary according to where you live. So the first step is to go ahead and buy your trees. I went with dwarf trees. I really like dwarf trees. Um, they don't grow that tall. They don't live as long as a standard tree, but that's okay with me. Um, I don't like to be on a tall ladder trying to harvest my fruit. I like it to be, you know, 12 feet or less. It's, and that's what I like about prune. Um, with dwarf trees, it's easier to prune. Um, the second step is to soak your trees in water. So I'm doing that for an hour or two. And now I'm going to go dig my holes and we'll get back to these as soon as i get my holes ready so let's do it Okay guys, so here's what I've done. Um, it may be hard to see in the video, but I've made three saucer shaped holes here. Um, they're rounded on the edges and go towards the middle. Now I have my fruit trees. I'm about to plant them. This is really important with the fruit tree. If you look right here, this weird looking node, this is where the grafted stock up top was grafted to the root stock on the bottom. Most fruit trees you get are going to be grafted, almost all of them. Um, but this is important. You actually don't want this too deep. You want the grafted node above the soil by two or three inches. If you don't, if you bury this node or if it's really close to the soil, this is what's gonna happen. Roots are going to sprout from your grafted stock, which was chosen for its fruit, not for its root strength. But if you have it underground or too close to the soil, 
roots will sprout from your rooted from your grafted stock and then what's going to happen is you're going to have a really weak root base and that's not what you want so every tree you get is going to have a node here and you want to keep that above ground by two or three inches so i also have really good soil that i've composted for the last two years and i really am impressed with the soil um, it's way better than store-bought soil that i've seen um, i am going to mix it in about 50 50 with the soil that was already here because it is pretty rich and it is good to mix your soil with the soil that is already there so i'm going to get to it and then i'm going to show you how i'm supporting my trees i'm going to show you how to prune your tree and how to protect it from deer so let's plant these babies So I have my first tree planted. It is the Red Chief Nectarine, a dwarf variety. Um, again, I'm kind of on a slope. So what I did on the original digging of the hole, I put all of my dug dirt on the downside and now I've made kind of a berm. That berm is gonna level out where the tree's growing a little bit and it's going to collect water easier. So if you're on a slope, you want to make a little berm on the back side. Um, living in the mountains, it's a challenge to find flat land. The only place on the farm that's completely flat was made flat by a giant bulldozer. So um, we don't have a lot of flat land here. So I went ahead and mixed in my soil. I put a stake in the ground. I put that in first actually, so it's probably down about 18 inches and that's going to support the tree as it's growing. The next thing I'm going to do is prune the tree. It's really hard to capture that on, on film, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a central leader that's going to be my main um, part of my tree. Um, then I'm going to cut everything back probably 30 to 40% right above a bud. Um, that's really important you want to go right above a bud um, if not everything above it's going to die anyways um, you want to cut at a 45 a 45 degree angle so that um, um, rain will um, drain off easily and you don't have to worry about rot in your tree as much so let's go ahead and prune this little um, red dwarf i know it seems painful when you prune it like you're losing your tree, but really you're helping your tree thrive. So I'm going to prune this baby right now. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but I got my uh, three dwarf fruit trees in the ground. I've put a cage around them, a deer cage to keep deer away, and also rabbits and voles. Um, our dogs do a pretty good job of keeping deer away. They love to chase them. But I have an extra tip if you haven't heard this before. I swear it works. I went to an apple orchard and that's what the apple orchard does. Every four or five trees they have a stake and on that stake they have a suet feeder and they have a bar of Irish soap. Deer and women do not like the smell of Irish spring. It keeps both of them away, uh, but especially deer. So I'm gonna hang this up in the middle of my fruit trees, right on my, my second tree actually. And it seems like maybe an old wives tale or a myth or something, but this really does work. I've seen it work. If a giant orchard that has hundreds of apple trees trusts it, I'm gonna trust it too. So I hope you learned something about planting fruit trees. I know I did. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Keep on homesteading.